Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today we have a fall two haul from Bath and Body Works. So we're re referencing the second floor set of fall. Uh, so I think we're in the fall two theme now. And so that includes the Chasing Firefly stuff as well as some of the uh, other straggling fall candles. Uh, I have some body care and then some hand soaps from all the fall two stuff as well. Uh, and we'll get right into it. So yes, Chasing Fireflies. It's so nice to finally have this after having dr driven all the way to that friggin' store who said they would sell it to me, uh, but then only at full price after I wasted an hour of time, gas, uh, and gas money all the way up there. Uh, so finally, finally have it in my possession right here and that's what that looks like uh very pretty like watercolor softness uh there in the the perfume bottle is kind of interesting that it looks kind of like like face toner with like a wood lid on it and it's like a long cylindrical bottle uh kind of cool that they did a different form for that um 29.95 on this so i strategically purchased a wild sand candle um and then during the sale price 20 percent off coupon and then exchanged it when chasing fireflies came out today uh golden pear jasmine blooms and illuminated woods with natural essential oils it has uh, white wax and the thick rope like wicks on it and that's what that looks like yeah, wow. This is very powdery and floral and really strong on cold. I know a lot of people were saying this was actually quite unscented or weak when you go to burn it, which is surprising by how strong it is on cold. Um, I spray the perfume in store too, and like I like floral fragrances, but this is very heavily powdery floral. Wow. Um, it honestly is like so perfumey that it kind of smells more like a higher end fragrance, so I do appreciate that. Um, it's in the same vein as fairy tale, I would say. I definitely get the comp comparisons to fairy tale. I think people were saying it smells like a, a perfume called Libre or something. And people were saying the same exact thing during fail fairy tale era. So I guess if you like that fragrance, then check out uh, Chasing Fireflies. But very floral. Uh, I guess you could pick up some pear in there. But you definitely get a powdery, uh, perfumey, floral first and foremost. Uh, in comparison to fairy tale right here, that's what that looks like. Uh, this one had pomegranate, so still a fruit note, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. And orange blossom and jasmine are not too far apart, so I could see the similarities there. This one obviously is like burnt at this point, but this one's a little bit more... This one always smells plasticky to me. Um, it's a little bit more, I guess, sharp, whereas this one's a little bit more heady, heady, powdery, perfumey. But I, I can see the similarities. No, they're not the same fragrance by any means, but it's kind of in a similar vibe as Fairy Tale, I would say. But yeah, okay, we'll see how that goes. I feel like it's one of those where if you wear the perfume, um, you're gonna get a headache from it. So I like entertained the hand soap for a moment, but then I was like, no, if I wash my hands with this and I smell it on my hands, I feel like I'm gonna get a headache from smelling this because it is so intensely floral and heady. So uh, Chasing Fireflies right there. I uh, love the fun, like, I guess, fairy tale type of feel that's on this as well. And so there was that. Um, the new fragrance from this collection, Fall Forest, right here. And this one has, like, a pretty leaf lid on it. Uh, this one is $24.95. Interestingly, this was marked at a different price originally, it looks like. But then they slapped a $24.95 sticker over it, which is kind of interesting. Um, forest pine needles, woodland moss, and chili fall air. I have already actually burned this one twice and it's quite light. Honestly, I was hoping for something stronger, especially for a tree fragrance, but that was not quite the case. Yeah, I like this actually. Um, it's very much a, a Christmas type of tree fragrance, even though it explicitly says fall forest, but I think they purposefully named it fall forest because it is such a Christmassy <laughs> tree fragrance. Um, if you want your like Christmassy tree fragrance, like this could have been any one of those like Slack and Cole masterpiece, uh, like golden era tree fragrances that we used to have back, back in like 2011, 2012. It kind of reminds me honestly of Frosted Tree from way long ago and that's what that looks like. Uh, this one was Rich Cedar, Fur Needle, and Golden Amber blend naturally with notes of patchouli and rosemary. I mean, they're different and this is old so it smells kind of whack, but it's a similar vibe where it is a tree note. This one smells a little bit more perfumey and there's almost like something that once again very pretty and perfumey and kind of powdery about this. Uh, but it's in a sweet way. So originally when I smelled it, it kind of smelled like a prettier version of like a vanilla balsam or a balsam and bird slash white balsam and vanilla type of fragrance where there was like a sweetness added with a tree fragrance. And I still get that. It's very much like a, 
like a frosted tree type of fragrance, which, what was this? Frosted, oh, literally that's called frosted tree. But it does smell like frosted trees and like where you get like a sort of powdery, um, soft snow element mixed with a sweet sort of like, kind of like pine needle and a slightly herbal, earthy extraness. Uh, that you get in there that is very reminiscent of like kind of like the nice sophisticated tree scents we used to get from the slacken era. Um, so yeah, I like it. Um, it's just a little bit lighter than I had hoped for when it was burning. Actually quite light. It was like no more than a four at any given moment and I kind of went want more like a five or a six. I would even maybe even put it down to a three honestly. I was kind of struggling to smell it but uh, pretty fragrance nonetheless. So fall forest right there. It is smells new to me. Uh, like it's not winter white woods in the sense that winter white woods has a distinct smokiness to it. This isn't smoky. It's more like pretty tree fragrance. Uh, but I like it. It's it's very Christmassy. This could totally be repackaged as some Christmas fragrance, and if they do, hopefully they'll increase the throw on it. Uh, so fall forest right there. Uh, two boring candles. My parents wanted some, so I picked some up for them while I was at the store. Uh, they wanted pumpkin apple, and I have pumpkin apple is notorious for burning like absolute trash every single year. I have no idea if this one burns well or not. Let me know. Um, and red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, and fresh ground cinnamon with clove buds. It has the thick rope like wicks with red wax, but uh, like it's I just it's always a gamble with this candle. Um, everybody knows pumpkin apple at this point. It's very, very, very similar to apple crumble from back in the day. So if you miss out on apple crumble, this is like truly the next best thing. They're so immensely similar. I'm like almost convinced that they're like near repackages at this point. So pumpkin apple right there. And then another tried and true basic but classic, uh, leaves. Apple, cinnamon, and clove. Kind of smells like an apple cider. Uh, we already know what this smells like. I gushed about, ooh, that is so juicy. Leaves is truly a, a classic. Excellent. Like, it's generic or basic, but executed in the best way possible. It's just awesome. It's like the best apple cider craft store fragrance ever. And there's just like, there's like a depth to it that's just so juicy. Um, the golden nectar, perhaps? Yeah. So, leaves right there. Uh, they'll enjoy those very quintessential fall fragrances. Like, we always complain about the same old basics coming out, but the average consumer out there is looking for the basic quintessential nostalgic fall fragrances, so that's why they keep coming back out. Uh, so there was that. Uh, I think that was it for home fragrance. Uh, we have some body care. Um, did a full review on this, but I don't think I've actually hauled it. Uh, and it's leaves. Amazing. Smells just like the candle. Uh, awesome when you use it in the shower. Uh, the shower gel doesn't have a super strong dry down to it, but the mist it did. And I think there's a try it to believe it mist sale coming this weekend. So get it then if you want it. Uh, so leaves, shower gel, amazing, excellent, awesome. Together weather, this is really good too. Um, I don't know what the notes are because it's not listed on here, but I thought this was, when I use a spray, it kind of just smell like a rehash of Autumn Drive. But when you go to use it, there's something very, I don't know, just warm and cashmere-y about it. It's quite nice with maybe like a fruity berry component. Is that what it is? But in a very like cozy, sheer cashmere type of way. I uh, loved it. This is actually really nice when I use it in the shower. So together weather right there. Uh, moving on, let's see. Chasing fireflies um, in the shower gel. Um, use a reward on this because I have a million of them. Um, and that's what that looks like. We just talked about it, so I don't need to talk about it again. Interesting, now they say pro vitamin B5 and aloe, so um, shea butter and cocoa butter have been um, axed. But the thing is, I think when you read the notes, or the ingredients rather, it still lists, I think, those in there. Um, this is really hard to read because it's like, the contrast is terrible. Uh, but like, actually, I think they might have taken out shea butter. So I think on the previous formula, it used to, so I guess this is now body wash rather than shower gel. And the body wash must have B5 and aloe, whereas the previous shower gel always had aloe and vitamin E, was it? And shea butter. Uh, but when I read the ingredients, I don't think I see shea butter on there anymore. So like before they would like omit it from marketing or packaging, but in the ingredients you would still see shea butter in the notes, uh, or in the ingredients rather. But I think on this case, it's like so hard to read this, but I don't think shea butter is listed as an ingredient anymore. Oh, okay, interesting. 
But any case, yeah, the new body wash. Uh, so that's that right there. Uh, and then some juicy hand soap. My mom wanted pink peach blossom. This um, is like a spring scent that is also now a fall scent. Um, I think it was originally a, was it originally a fall scent when it came out? I don't remember. But this smells like peach candy, like the Flowers Kiss candy from Japan. Uh, she also wanted pumpkin apple. I use pumpkin apple. I got this earlier in the season and it's amazing. This is like super strong. It's actually slightly different uh, than the candle. It's like more spicy. It's like intense and just quintessentially fall. The hand soap of pumpkin apple is excellent. Um, let's see, pomegranate and blackberry. So I think uh, Candles and Corks on Instagram um, was posting about how juicy this was. And I've noticed over the years that my tastes kind of uh, very much align or agree with what Candles and Corks likes, at least in terms of like bakery fragrances. I'm not sure if he's a huge floral fragrance fan. But like usually when he says something is a repackage or something is light or unscented or something super juicy, I almost like nine out of 10 times agree with it. So when I saw his story about pomegranate blackberry being super juicy and awesome, I was like, oh my God, I gotta go check it out. Uh, and it was indeed awesome and juicy. Um, autumn, pomegranate, sugared blackberry, and vanilla spice. This is super juicy. It's like a very like, like creamy, sweet, uh, mm, yeah, oh my god, excellent. Blackberry and I guess pomegranate action. Like the pomegranate gives it a little bit of that extra quenchiness, and then there's that awesome, juicy, creamy, blackberry, vanilla component to it. Um, I have already used this one because I was so jazzed about it. Unfortunately, it's not as strong as like, let's say my rose amber or pumpkin apple hand soap is, uh, but still, still serviceable. So pomegranate, blackberry right there. Uh, we have two leaves, one for my mom and one for myself. Uh, obsessed with the body care, so I was like, hello, I have to get the, uh, the soap uh, this year. So we did that. It's just so nice that the entirety of their foamy hand soap is now the gentle and clean variety, rather than the OG harshly drying um, foamy hand soap. So like my hands don't get nearly as torn up as they used to. So it's so nice to be able to just like have run of the store of buying the hand soaps. Um, it was a $3.95 sale. And then we have Wicked Vanilla Woods right here. Uh, this was nice. Magical Vanilla Glowing Amber Wood and Enchanted Pink Pepper. I smelled this in the store and I was like, okay, this is kind of nice. It didn't come out as any other format this year, did it? At least not in body care or candle. Ooh, yeah, that is quite nice. Uh, very, very much enjoy that. Uh, so Wicked Vanilla Woods right there. Um, and I think, is that it? Yes, I feel like I always ramble so much on these videos, so we'll just we'll just cut it there. Uh, and I think that is it for my haul. Let me know how you think about chasing fireflies um, and fall forest. Leave your comments down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.